Ahoy, and welcome back to a Diecast Review, now in 4K. This is of uh, Will Power's 2022 Verizon Chevrolet for Team Penske. Uh, yes, this is the series champion. However, this is just the regular, rele regular release car. Sorry. Um, and yeah, so I do have a couple complaints about this car. Something that I hope that gets fixed in the, um, in the championship edition. This one is on the oval body, as you can tell. Now, one thing that Greenlight is doing is the cars that were released on the road course body last year are getting released on the oval body this year, and then vice versa. So like the um, Will Power, the Aero McLaren cars, those are all getting released on this body, while the Andretti Autosport, the Chip Ganassi Racing, those cars are getting released on the road course kit. So I guess that's... A clever way of doing it instead of just like doing two releases of the same car every year um i don't know it's just a little bit random however this car technically only ran once and that was at texas this year way way back at the second race of the indycar season which remember started in february so yeah um if, if that makes you feel a little bit like this year has gone fast um, yeah, so a couple complaints on it. First things first is the red at the nose is a little too bright. It's a little bit too bright of a color of a red. If it was by itself, you know, based off of nothing, it would look good. However, since it is based off of the actual car, it is too bright. And that's unfortunate because, again, it looks decent just not accurate and how many times have i said that in the last couple of years so anyways here at the nose we got on the front wing main plane verizon twice and then we have delara shell pennzoil chevrolet uh ntt indycar series the number 12 and verizon both in flat white which is an interesting change uh of dynamic now the verizon on the front wing is in kind of a gloss standard decal white but the on the shock cover, it is a flat white. Actually, it looks like the red kind of transitions ish to more of a flattish. I, I don't know. It, it's weird. Maybe they did the paint layers a little thin. I don't know. And on the front of the arrow screen, we have Will Power. And then on the mirrors, we have Siemens and Mazak, the typical Team Penske sponsors. Over on the front wing end plates, we have um, Hitachi. And then chrome suspension, typical Team Penske. There is a little bit of a tow out in the front wheels on this car. Uh, however, compared to some of the other ones where like the aero screen was popping up and it wasn't like fastened together properly, I chose this one. I can live with a little bit of tow out in the front wheels versus the car not being assembled properly. Um, but chrome suspension, very nice, you know, typical Team Penske. It does accent pretty much every car very nicely. Uh, and then Firestone. Now, honestly, this car does give me some nice memories of the uh, hit of the Snap-on car, the Joseph Newgarden car from last year, uh, which you guys know how much I love that car. Uh, you know, not quite the same, but still, still, good car, very good car. Um, you do have this kind of black banding around on the halo, and then also on the printing on the aero screen, uh, Chevrolet, and then it transitions to red. And now we get to my second big complaint the gradients um with any manufacturer the gradients is hit and miss this one is a miss so you know when you're like painting something and you especially a dual color room or whatever um and you're well actually i could say this, you know when you're spray painting and you don't want it to go over the edge and so you put duct tape yeah to create a sharp line it looks like they didn't put duct tape when they were spraying the two halves of this car. And it looks more like the black is kind of bleeded over to the red side. Now, that's fine because the car is kind of, I don't know, it's more of a harsh gradients than it should be. My second complaint is the gradients is a little bit far forward. Now, on the real car, the red kind of spills back to this leading edge of the uh, wheel flick here, and, you know, it kind of goes back a little bit further. The gradients is pretty harsh on this one. Now, they get the award for trying. They don't get the award for succeeding. Anyways, the Verizon logo 
it looks like it's kind of tilted up a little bit. And you can see on the Z, there's a little bit of a decal chip there. Um, but decent props on kind of getting that check mark to kind of jump up onto the flick just a, just a tad bit. You can see it up there. Um, the Verizon logo is kind of pushed forward on this car, so it does make it look a little bit long. On the uh, Flex, which is in the transitioned area to the black now, uh, and it is a gloss black. Oh, and there's another paint chip on the engine cover. But anyways, uh, PPG and Snap-on. Then we got Chevrolet NTT P1 Pull Award. Uh, on the engine cover, we have Car Shop and a Penske Truck Rental. Here's another thing that I'm a little confused on. So I can tell that they based this on the road course. The number 12 on the rear wing. Now, as you know, nobody except for Ed Carpenter Racing runs the um, numbers on the rear wing anymore. Or the boomerang, I should call it, on the oval kit. Literally, it's only Ed Carpenter Racing. So, why do we have it here? That's part of the mysteries of life with Tim and Moby, I guess. I, I don't know. This is the second year of this, and I don't know why we are still having this little bitty issue. And here's the thing. It's something that Greenlight could have missed, and it would have been accurate. So, why include it? I don't know. That maybe be have saved, like, five cents per car. Um, anyways, uh, big Verizon logo on the rear wing. I just don't know why this is here. It shouldn't be. Anyways, Team Penske, uh, the uh, attenuator at the back. And then this side, there's that paint chip I was um, referring to a few minutes ago there. Uh, number 12 on the roll hoop, as you'd ex expect. And then red camera pod. Uh, underneath, this one's number 270. Green light 2017. I like to point that out still because this, even though it's the... 2018 car it still has the copyright 2017 on it from when they made the first pre-production samples so yes and then cockpit i do like to say this every so often but it does have the same seat and steering wheel that we've had since 2004 and same rims too fun fact so yeah and i almost forgot to mention the box uh you can see 12 will power with the australian flag number 12 and then Get it so you can read it. There is his quote. He is from Toowoomba. Toowoomba. It's just, by the way, say Toowoomba 10 times. It's really fun. Anyways, there's his quote. After 17 seasons in NTT... Wait, wait. After 17 seasons in the NTT IndyCar series, I still have the same kind of passion and desire to be the best... Driving for Team Penske gives me everything I need to win another championship in 2022. Well, bud, you did. Congratulations. Anyways, that's it for this diecast review, guys. And hopefully you enjoyed it. There's five more to come. I did purchase quite a few of them here recently. So, uh, yeah, look, look forward to those. And we'll see you in the next video. And as always, peace out.